This lesson overviews how to find video within ACC software using a variety of search tools. After completing this lesson, you will be able to perform a bookmark search, perform an event search, perform an alarm search, and perform a thumbnail search. In this module, you'll learn how to perform a bookmark search. Bookmarks are notes you can use to index important video or search results for future reference. This allows you to easily review and export videos. For example, you can quickly find and export a bookmarked video to send to police for an investigation. After completing this module, you will be able to perform a bookmark search. This feature is available in these editions of ACC software. To access search options, click the highlighted button. To find a bookmark, click the highlighted button. If you have an extensive list, you can enter the incident number, title, or some other bookmark detail in the search bar to quickly find a bookmark. To view a bookmark, select it from the list. From this screen, you can edit, review, and export the bookmark. To sum up, in this module, you learn how to perform a bookmark search to easily review and export videos. In this module, you'll learn how to perform an event search. The event search allows you to search through all motion and digital input events from multiple cameras. For example, you can find an intruder by searching for motion after the building was closed. After completing this module, you'll be able to search for events from multiple cameras. This feature is available in these editions of ACC software. To access search options, click the highlighted button. In the menu that appears, click here. You can select the cameras you would like to include in the event search. For this search, the cameras have been selected for you. Next, you can drag the time range markers to set the time range. Another way to define the time frame of the search is to adjust the time in the highlighted area. In this example, the time range has been selected for you. In the highlighted area, you can select the types of events to include in the search. Click the highlighted checkbox to deselect this option. Once you've set a time range and selected what types of events to include, click here. The search results now display below the video panel. Click here. Once you select a search result, you can review the event and bookmark or export the video. In this module, you learn how to search all motion and digital input events from multiple cameras. In this module, you'll learn how to perform an alarm search. An alarm search allows you to find video linked to triggers throughout an alarm's history. For example, you can check the video of a hallway for intruders after the door alarm was triggered. After completing this module, you will be able to search through an alarm's history. This feature is available in this edition of ACC software. To access search options, click the highlighted button. In the menu that appears, click here. First, select all the alarms you would like to include in the alarm search. Click the highlighted checkbox. You can drag the time range markers to set the time range. Another way to define the time frame of the search is by entering the time in the highlighted area. In this example, the time range has been selected for you. Click here. To view a result, select it from the list. Once you select a search result, you can review, bookmark, and export the video. To sum up, in this module, you learned how to find video linked to triggers throughout an alarm's history. In this module, you'll learn how to perform a thumbnail search. The thumbnail search displays search results as a series of thumbnail images. You can use the thumbnail search if you need to find exactly when an event occurred in a wide time frame. For example, you can use a thumbnail search to quickly determine what time a vehicle entered a parking lot. After completing this module, you will be able to perform a thumbnail search. This feature is available in these editions of ACC software. To access search options, click the highlighted button. In the menu that appears, click here. The thumbnail search works well when you know the exact event you were looking for, but don't know when it occurred. For example, you know that a suspicious person was seen waiting in the parking lot in a black car. You know which car you were looking for, but you don't know when the car arrived. There are two tools you can use to limit your search. The first is the green overlay, which defines the region of interest for the search. You can focus the green overlay over the area you want to search. In this example, it's already in place. The second tool is the time frame, 
You can define the time frame by dragging the time range markers to set the time range. Once you've set your parameters, click here. The results are immediately displayed. Each thumbnail represents a highlighted point in the timeline. The search results are spread evenly across the set time frame. You can click the highlighted button or double click a thumbnail until you find the exact moment the incident occurred. In this case, you were looking for the arrival of the black car. By double clicking the thumbnail before the thumbnail with the car, you narrow your search to the time between the two thumbnails. Keep double clicking the thumbnail before the image with the black car until you find the moment it arrived in the parking lot. Click here. Now, click here. Click here. Click this thumbnail. Now, click here. Finally, click here. Once you find the event, you can open it in a separate image panel to watch the video or to save the image as a snapshot. To sum up, in this module, you learned how to use the thumbnail search to find an event that occurred during a wide time frame.